So one of the things that I notice whenever I travel around and go to different gyms or just from years of watching people on YouTube is there's still a lot of people who are using chalk incorrectly. And it's kind of interesting because chalk's so simple, it's pretty hard to fuck up, right? Well, we still managed to figure out a way to do it, and that's by putting it directly onto the barbell. That's not something you want to do. Number one, it's going to negatively actually impact your grip. And number two, it's actually going to negatively impact the life of that equipment that you're using in the long run, which is something we want to avoid if we either want our gym to provide us with nice equipment or we're purchasing equipment ourselves and we want to get the longest time out of it that we can. So let's talk a little bit about barbells in general first, just to get a general understanding. They all have some type of knurling on them. Now the knurl itself, all that means is the etching and ridging that's put on the bar to help assist in grip. How deep or aggressive that knurling is and where it's placed on the bar is gonna differ depending mostly on what that barbell's intended use is for, whether it be powerlifting, weightlifting, or maybe it's just like a general purpose barbell that a lot of commercial gyms have. And there's a couple of reasons why commercial gyms tend to go this way. Number one, they're cheaper in most cases. And number two, for the average gym goer, they don't want very aggressive knurling that could potentially damage their hands. And they don't really care about having a center knurl on the bar for things like squats, because believe it or not, some people at commercial gyms don't actually squat. I know, it's pretty shocked to hear that myself. But for general powerlifting and strength training, you want an aggressive or a deep ridge on the bar, thus you'd be able to dig in a little bit better with your hands, and you're gonna want a center neural as well to help dig on your back when you're doing things like squats. Now the problem is, again, for many of us, we don't have access to great bars. Maybe we go to a commercial gym with a bunch of general purpose bars, or maybe the equipment in that gym has been used by so many people that the knurling that was once really aggressive has now since been dulled. So there are some workarounds. There are things like straps, for example, but I know many people tend to want to use chalk instead because you can use chalk in competition. And I think people view chalk a lot differently than they view straps, but that's a different video topic. But the problem is, is when they put it on their hands to help absorb moisture and give you a better grip on that slick bar, they start thinking. They started thinking that, hey, you know, this chalk helps in grip, right? And I can't get a ton on my hands, so why don't I go ahead and just cake it onto the bar? I'll get a block of chalk and use it almost like a cheese grater and just put it all over the bar and that's gonna help me get a better grip, right? Wrong. Because again, when you think of the purpose of the knurling itself, which are to have deeper ridges and the deeper the ridge, the more aggressive the knurl, the better the grip, you're thus rendering it useless by taking chalk and filling up those ridges with chalk and you're now getting an actual slicker bar. So it's not gonna help you that much. And I can't tell you the amount of times that I've been to other gyms and seen barbells laying around that just have chalk caked in them and people don't clean it. So not only are you hurting yourselves, but you're hurting the people that are gonna use that bar after you because again, the grip's not gonna be as good. That's why if you've ever been to a powerlifting competition, you've probably seen that in between each lift, they have someone out there with a brush and cleaning all the chalk off that bar. So number one, it's actually gonna hurt your grip to have chalk on the bar itself. Again, you want that clean, aggressive knurling. And even when you put chalk on your hands, the idea is just just to get that moisture off so you don't need a ton of it and that's gonna improve your grip and your lifts in the long run. Now, that's not where the story ends, however, because again, when you think about the reasons why chalk is beneficial is it takes the moisture out of your hands. The problem is, is when you cake it onto the bar and you leave it there, you don't clean it off. Number one, we talked about the grip already, but number two, that's still drawing in moisture that's in the air, and what you're gonna end up doing in the long run is really damaging your bar. You're gonna start getting rust spots. So if you've ever been to a gym that has a barbell that's caked in chalk and try to clean it off, you probably find out that that metal underneath there is pretty beat up, pretty rusty and pretty oxidized by that point. So again, if you're going to be using chalk, just make sure you use some on your hands. A little will go a long way. Definitely do not put it on the bar. It actually hurts your grip. But if you are gonna put it on your bar, which you shouldn't, make sure you're cleaning it off after each use. And you not only get better lifts, but better life out of your bar. Hope that's helpful. If you have any other suggestions when it comes to chalk, barbells, leave it in the comment section below. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.